Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle... everybody to Tabletop Tactics. You join me, Chaos Lord Beard, and my esteemed colleague, Grandfather Nurgle himself. <laughs> it's Mr. <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the Mortal Realms. We are delighted to be here today to bring you another game of Age of Sigmar and an army debut. Yeah, first time for the free view for the Iron Nerf Deep Deepkin. And thank you to everybody that donated to the Lodge campaign, because this is the first of the armies that we've been able to create uh, from the funds raised from the Lodge, plus a whole new studio. So. Praise be unto the Lodge members. Well done, your bosses. You did it. Look what you've created. A beautiful uh, army of, of, of slippery fish men. Eels! That's my eel movement. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the, the maggot kin of Nurgle. Yeah, my first time running them. Um, so I'm interested to see. Is, 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 yeah, uh, they, 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 they are fun to use. Yes. Um, and, you know, if you, it's Nurgle. You always have a jolly time. It's a very good time indeed. Speaking of jolly, <laughs> it's almost like we're professionals and segued very well into that. <laughs> If you want a jolly time this Christmas, check out tabletoptactics.tv forward slash shop for these brand new Christmas jumpers for your um, Christmas Christmas fun times. Christmas fun times. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want to have a fun time at Christmas, have an even funner time with Grotty on your chest. Ho, 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 indeed. Yes. And whilst if you're feeling jolly, if you want to make us feel jolly, hit subscribe, give us some comments and hit the likes. It helps the algorithm uh, bestow great powers upon us. And if you want to be a mega boss, head over to tabletatics.tv, join us on demand and bestow upon yourself the jolly festive, festive tidings, which include all of our extra battle reports and shows. Yeah, we literally cannot do it without the on-demand bosses that mm -mm. are out there. Mm -mm. But for now, let's get into the list and have a closer look at these delightful models. But I just me, Nurgle himself, in charge of, of... Because I've also been quite ill recently. But I'm better now, everyone, so don't worry about that. Not that I assumed that you were, but if you were, thank you. And if you weren't, I understand. But Nurgle has blessed me. With the Maggot Kin today, my first time of running them, so uh, this should be quite interesting because I'm doing what I usually do, which is going, yeah, I'll run this army. Do I know how it works? No, not really, but we'll find out as we go. We will learn together, everyone. So we're running a Befouling Host today because it's realistically the only uh, one that we can run effectively. Um, I could run something like the Blessed Sons, but I've got like one mortal unit, so it's kind of pointless. Um, so I get my two feculent Narmors. I'm going to preface this now. We've only got two, so I can't summon any more as much as I'd like to because we're not going to proxy it which makes me very sad so don't ask me or comment in game if you'd ask me in game i'd be very impressed quite frankly how you managed to do that but regardless i can't run any more than two so that's what i've got for befouling host leading it up as my general is of course a great unclean one big boomba big daddy jabber himself he has a bell he has the plague flail and as my general we've given him nurgling infestation so he's minus one to hit which is very nice and we've also given him the wither stave as his uh, artifact of power so uh, if you're within seven inches of him you get plus one on your disease rolls which is very nice for lots of mortal wound shenanigans uh in terms of his spell he's got stream of corruption because i like vomiting uh and doing mortal wounds we then have Festus the Leech Lord, uh, literally a snake oil salesman, uh, here to heal up and also feed you potions and do the spell casting. Yes, uh, I've given him Plague Squall so I can just do plague comments across the battlefield because that's fun. And then we've got Horticola Slimux. Um, like I say, I can't summon a tree, but he's still quite good um, because as Befouling Host, you can take as your battle line, units of Beast of Nurgle. Yeah, so I've got a unit of three of them, which Slimex boosts up quite nicely. I also have two units of ten Plague Bearers, and I also have a unit of five Blight Kings. Finally, we also have a unit of three Plague Drones. Uh, not used them before, no idea what they do, but we'll find out together as I say. 
That is the list. It's like 1455. Um, I don't have any endless spells that I can use. We do have endless spells, but they'll put me like five points over or 10 points over whatever it is. We don't quite have some of the cheaper ones. So uh, I blame Fletcher for that and you should too. In terms of my ground strategy, I've taken, I think it's spread rampant disease. I really wanted to take tend the garden um, and or nurture the garden, which basically vomit up trees in my opponent's territory and keep it safe. But um, as I say, we don't have any more trees. So again, blame Fletcher for that one. It's not painted any up. Silly Fletcher. Let's have a look at the item of Deepkin. <laughs> Emerging from the gloomy depths, the Ideneth Deepkin are here, making their debut on Freeview. I'm excited to give them a spin for you today. If you want to see more of these, they're available on demand. If you want to see me use a giant Leviathan, that's the place to go. But for this list, it's slightly different. So I'm running the Ionrach Enclave, which helps my Akelian units manipulate the uh, tides of death throughout the battle, so that should do me some good. And they are being led by an Achelian king. The king of the Achelians! Um, so, he is my general. I've given him a bladed polearm, which is a very nice weapon indeed. Um, I've given him a deepkin artifact, which is the Potion of Hateful Frenzy, which I'll go over in the game. Um, and I've also given him the Unstoppable Fury um, command trait as well, which just makes him a bit more killy. He's a really good unit. He's quite survivable. Um, his mount, the Deep Mare, I've given the Void Shield Darkness, so he's minus one to hit. So he's a slippery character and can do some nice damage. And he'll also help out some of my key units in this list. Uh, moving on from there, I have an Ishran Soul Renderer. Renderer? Soul Render. Um, this is one of my sub-commanders for my Warlord but, uh, Core Battalion, by the way. Um, I have given this one the Brain Barnacles uh, enhancement because I get that an extra one from uh, being a Warlord's uh, Battalion, uh, which means that he can mess with um, some, some enemy heroes in certain parts of the game, which is very, very cool indeed. I then have an Ishran Tidecaster, so this is going to be my wizard for the game. This will be the second of my sub-commanders. Um, We'll go over the spells for that one when we get into the game. And then we move into my baseline units. So I have two units of a Kellyan Ishrayan Guard, uh, two units of three. Uh, this finishes off the Warlord's uh, Battalion. Uh, these are really good, nice and quick. They do some pretty good damage. Excellent for board control. I do like them quite a lot. And because I'm running the King, I can take these at baseline, which is very cool indeed. Um, I've got two units of Namati Thralls, uh, two units of 10. Um, these are nice and quick, they're pretty decent in combat um, and they can also be helped out by the Soul Render because he can bring them back to life which is very very cool. Uh, I've got a unit of 10 Namati Reavers, so this will be my ranged uh, bow flinging unit um, and they will probably be garrisoned within a, a Gloom Tide shipwreck which is very nice for them indeed. Um, so I can bring that onto the battlefield, plonk them in there, keep them a bit safer um, and they can shoot out the top of it which is Lots of fun. Um, I then got two Akelian Alupexes. Uh, two units of two here. So this is two reinforced units because you can make one the leader as such to make them a bit uh, better in combat. Uh, they both have the Retarius net launchers, uh, which can slow down the enemy, which is very handy because Nurgle are very, very slow indeed. Um, and that is the list. It is 2,000 points on the nose. And I know that isn't necessarily the best thing in the world in Sigma, uh, but it's very neat and tidy, which is very pleasant indeed. Uh, my grand strategy is, um, oh, what's it called? Defend what's ours, there we go. Because the Nurgle are very slow and I'm very quick, hopefully I can uh, manipulate the flow of battle because I'm a sea creature um, and keep him away from my territory. We'll have to see if that works out because they are very resilient. So we'll have to see if it is a, uh, a victor of speed over resilience. But let's get into the mission and see what happens. Today's battle plan is the Nidus Paths, a pitched battle from the General's Handbook. Four predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. The battlefield hosts four tunnels called the Nidus Paths as shown on the battle plan map. At the end of their movement phase, players can pick one friendly unit wholly within six inches of a Nidus Path. If they do so, they must remove that unit from the battlefield and set it up again wholly within six inches of that Nidus Path's twin more than 9 inches from all enemy units. 
Each player scores victory points at the end of each of their turns as follows. Score one victory point if you control at least one objective. Score one victory point if you control two or more objectives. Score one victory point if you control more objectives than your opponent. And score two victory points if you complete the battle tactic you picked that turn. Each player also scores three victory points at the end of the battle if they completed their grand strategy. Well, well, well. Look at all these trees! Trees? Eels! Trees and eels and, and this poor castle. Yeah. It's dead now. Well, all of the... Um... The, the sub subterranean, yes, the Nidus Paths. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So for uh, for for those of you that haven't played Nidus Paths, like us, uh, basically, if you've got a unit wholly within six inches of a table quarter, you can teleport to the other table quarter as long as there's no enemy units within nine inches of it. So maybe it's all like waterways, ancient waterways. That's where. That's why I'm here. And I've turned them into sewers. Ugh. Disease! Ugh. For thee, and for me, and for thee. You don't want to be swimming through that. No, mm -hmm. that's bad. You definitely need to scrub down. Plug your nose. Like proper like industrial, like CIA style, like jet washer, mm -hmm. like with a brush. So, um, I finished deploying first, so I'm going to take the first turn so I can establish some board pressure. Yes, I'm uh, in the low tide for this battle round, so yes. I effectively have cover. You have cover, which Everywhere. is very nice. Um, and I just need to roll for my cycle of corruption. Mm. Um, so that will be... Number five. Uh, subtract one from charge rolls um, for, for you, um, and you can't pile in. Oh. Well... Yeah, you can't pile in closer, so you basically can't pile in. Um, that would have been great in a later turn, but never mind. Oh well. Like love corruption is a fickle thing. It is a fickle thing. And it smells bad. It, yes. Ugh. Turn one for the Maggot King of Nurgle. Um, I've generated uh, contagion points, so I've gotten uh, free for my territory being... Um, having models inside it, an extra one because there's no enemy models inside it, and one for each of my trees. Mm. My battle tactic is going to be against all odds, so basically my plague drones need to go and hold an objective that has no Galatian veterans in range, so that seems quite simple. Should be should be a good one. Yes. Uh, and then we're going to do some heroic actions and abilities with my uh, Great Unclean. Okay. Uh, he's going to do heroic leadership, see if I can get a free CP. No, that's fine. And then he's going to ring the bell to see if I gain a contagion point. Okay. I do, I gain an extra one, so I'm on seven. Oh, seven. Seven. Now, I could, in theory, use that to summon, like, a support character, or I could save them for something a bit later in the game. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And we've also got some spells to cast. Okay. So, uh, he's going to cast Mystic Shield, uh, and we're going to do that on uh, these plague... Fellas. Bearers, that's what they're called. Yes, I am Holly within 12. I'm glad I measured it properly. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Uh, it does go off on an eight. You can... Um, Attempt to unbind me. You are a wizard over there with your tide cast. I'm a wizard, Harry. Yes. Let's try. Why Let's not? See what we cast can do. Castle on up. Uh, no, they are mystic shielded. They did. are indeed. Uh, and then I'm also gonna just prep a little arcane bolt. Mm. Just why not? Uh, yep, yeah, I'm prepped with an arcane bolt. Very nice. And then finally we come down to Festus the Leech Lord. Oh, old Festus. Yeah, he's gonna cast Plague Squall. Creepy Uncle Festus. I think it's cast on a six. Should have checked this, really, shouldn't I? Oh, silly of me. That's all right. I've gone in the wrong direction. You can do it. We oh, it believe is, in you. It is casting value six. Right. It goes off. A ten. Yes. Yeah. Um, she can only unbind one, right? The tide um, caster. I, 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 I believe so. She likes to cast, not so much with the uh, unbindings. No, just the one. Okay. So I roll 76, because Nurgle. 76? 76. Se I know I can't speak that good, but please. You, th this, this lot are bad enough, but I don't need you starting. Uh, so I roll 76, and for each six, I can pick one enemy unit that is visible and give them a disease point. I refuse. Two diseases. Who for? Who's diseased? Who can I see? You see those two, uh, well, are they, are they frauds? I can't see because I'm IGF deep, kid. <laughs> see, you We're blind. We come from the depths. To a fish elf. I can um, see, actually. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to put it on both of those Namati frawls that are over there. Okay. Um, let me just gather my disease dice, Ooh. which are these lovely new uh, teal dice available from tabletoptactics.tv shop. Get yours now! Shop. Mm. Otherwise, if you just type tabletoptactics.tv shop, that's actually to the shop. Yeah. Which will... 
probably take you to some the dark web. Yeah, the oh, deep web. The, the Iden F deep the Iden web. The deep web. <laughs> um, so I'll pop bottles on there, and then we'll do some movement. Oh, hang on! I've also oh. got to do. So you finish picking your pox. Um, I need to do <laughs> my rituals. Oh yeah. So because I can do two rituals because I've got a, a Ish Ishrayan. It's really good. So uh, for this game, I've got the Ritual of the Surging Stream and the Ritual of Deep Sight. Mm. So from Battle Round 2, I add one to uh, Run and Charge rolls. And from Battle Round 3, uh, well, in Battle Round 3, um, everything gets a 5-up ward save. I think your, your Namati stuff does, right? Yes. Okay, good, because I don't want sharks with a 5-up ward save. No, just, just, just the... Well, the, ev everything in turn 2 would get plus 1 to Run and yes. Charge. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, uh, the, the diseased Namati will have a ward. That's nice. I spend it. Movement phase. I bet it sounds horrible. So horrible. Yeah. Uh, I did run with them for what it's worth. I don't think it will make any difference because I don't want to get too close to be charged by eels. This unit of plague bearers, I rolled the big six on the run, so moving up to here to tend to the garden. I rolled a three on the advance for the, sorry, the run for the Blight Kings, moving up along to here. And Festus the Leech Lord rolled a paltry one, so he goes up just behind. Uh, two inch run for both the Beasts of Nurgle and Slimux. Uh, the Beasts are slightly faster, but that's neither here nor there, really. It's enough to put him there. Rolled another big six with these Plague Bearers, which is enough to put a couple up here because that looks super cool. And then the rest will mill around just underneath. Finally, Big Daddy Jabber. Oh, oh, oh. That's my turn. <clears throat> it's just the Battleshock phase, disease phase. Yes. Um, so just for each of your thrall units, which are diseased, mm. um, the one that is um, by the Watchtower. Yes. No, and then yeah. the one that is not by the watchtower. Yes. One explodes into a pus and you take a mortal wound. Well, unfortunately. One dies. Well, briefly. <laughs> yeah, because at the end of the battleshock phase, I get to, to use the lure light from my Ishran soul render. Oh, you do that at the end of the battleshock phase? At the end of the battleshock phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't worry, come on, up you get. You're fine. He's actually. I don't feel well. You're, it's time to go to battle. I don't want to go to battle. I want to stay here at home. Is that your um, son this morning? What? That was your son this morning. A bit poorly. Oscar's, Oscar's not, not, um, not, not in the best health. I don't want to and I, I'm story. being infected by my children. Mm. Um, so at the end of the phase, I just return up to D3 slave models to the unit. So, so he's fine. <clears throat> I mean, weirdly, that actually works in your favour because he dies and then you can just put him like a little bit closer yeah. to me. Yeah. Do, do they have a ward save as well, Beard? Not yet. No. Not yet. Later. Later. Okay. That's very right. cool. Great. So that is the, now the end of the turn. Um, I have um, all three objectives because I am holding one, holding two, holding three. Yes. Well, all, three objectives with the purposes of victory points. Um, so one, two, and more. And I've also got my battle tactic for the big five. Nice. But that's also kind of what you expect with Sigmar. Yes. Yeah. Sigmar. Nice. Right. Hero phase, baby. Mm. Hell of the king, baby. So the king, uh -huh. over there, uh -huh. um, he is going to do heroic Boom. leadership. Leadership, thank you. Uh, see if he gets a cheeky command point. Yes, he does. Okay. Um, and then we're going to cast a spell. Sure. We're going to do a riptide from my uh, Ishran Tidecaster into your, frankly, quite terrifying beast of Nurgle over there. I understand. Um, goes off on a seven. No. Pants alive. Well, that's that. Okay then. What, can I just see Peter re-roll it? No, that's not 40K. It's not 40k. <laughs> Stupid rules. Right, movement phase. One thing I should mention, um, my heroic action for my king down here, I have actually changed. I completely forgot about my enclave ability. Um, so Chef's kind of allowed me to uh, get rid of his extra command point, and he's going to give his legacy of glory to these uh, Alopexes here so they can um, move, uh, run and shoot, essentially, which is very nice for them indeed because it means I can get some extra models up contesting this objective and can also shoot my net launchers. So, with that in mind, I'm going to move the Alapexes up. I have rolled a three on their run, so they can come up here and jump onto this objective. But more importantly, they can now also shoot. And following suit, the other units are going to as well. So the king is going to move over this way on his mount. These Alapexes are just going to move normally, so they can also shoot their net launchers. And we're also going to keep these uh, little eel boys down here on the move. I just want to keep them in, uh, close enough to the king so he can give off his buffs. 
Last few things to do, uh, my Namati over here are running this way, as are the characters and stuff. I don't want to get too close to all of the big scary monsters over there. This flank is much weaker than the other one, so I'm just going to bide my time. Like the tides I come from. Shooting phase! Mm. I neglected to mention my battle tactic. Okay. Um, I've also neglected to remember what it's called. Uh, gaining momentum? Gaining momentum, thank you. So I'm allocating that onto your plague drone unit over there. So okay. I need to kill them and Ooh. also need to hold more objectives than Yao. So okay. it's one of the harder ones to get, but I didn't have a particularly good choice of battle tactics. I understand. Yes. Um, anyway, we're going to do the shooting phase firstly with my uh, Reavers over here, and they're okay. going to shoot their bows, their whisper bows. I, that's a blowpipe. <laughs> <laughs> into your plague bearers. And they're minus one to hit, I understand, because of their. I've, I've co I'm covered in flies. Okay. Yeah. Well, I shoot two arrows at once. I mean, that's very sick. impressive. Here we go. Bows! I'll be hitting you on fours because of the minus one. It is. I didn't roll a single three. Oh, I did roll one three. It made one piece of difference. That's not a good roll. How funny. No, that's a lot of ones and twos. <laughs> uh, uh, three is to wound you. Okay. Yeah! Oh, Ooh, that's, that's nice. nice. Three, six, seven, eight. 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 Uh, would normally be minus one rend, but you're in that building. I Yes, I do get, receive the benefits of cover. Uh, so that'll give me a five up save, so back down to a six. Lovely. Uh, and then five up ward save because I'm Nurgle. I presume you damage one. You presume correctly. Five up ward saves. Okay. One, two, three, four, five wounds go through. So that is two and a half dead because they have <clears> two <throat> wounds each. <clears throat> Last bit of shooting. I'm going to do both of my units of Akeli and Alopexes into your drones over there. Okay. Because they're all going to the same target. I understand. So why not? So we've got four net launchers. Hitting you on threes. <laughs> Nets ahoy! I've been netted. Three hits. Help! Uh, I believe it's three to wound. I believe correctly. Tangled. Uh, it is three wounds. There's no Ren to speak of here. A tiny net. Mm. Uh, I do save one. Okay. Oh, what's the damage? That was three. Ooh! Okay. I mean, it's a net covered in massive harpoons. I mean, it, yeah. It's probably like it's probably a, like a predator net as well. Yeah. Where it's just like, oh look. I wouldn't want to fight them. A predator or an Iden. No, thank you. <laughs> or a beast of Nurgle. <laughs> Five up ward saves. That's Ooh, very nice. Very nice. So well one of them done. Does take two damage. Um, because I have hit you, you cannot make pile in moves this turn. I don't know if that was going to come up, but it is a fun little thing to know about. Well. We, the more you know. Charge phase. Mm. I'm going to attempt to charge my Schleyen guard into your drones. Schleyen. I'm not going to get my battle tactic here because there's a few too many wounds on those fellas over there. Mm. But if I can kill one, that'd be nice. Yeah. And I have taken the objective, which is pleasant. Well. Um, so let's see. So it's a nine inch charge, but I got a musician. So it's an eight. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's actually an 11. Yeah. Is right. that, uh, there's that jazz shell solo that he just uh, bestowed upon everyone. Is it a conch shell? Ooh. Why not? Magic conch. Hell saber. Death's heads, because I'm doing unleash hell. Ah. Because I got so many CP. I mean, it's well. hell everywhere. Yeah. Hell hell, on earth. Hellish, hellish skulls yes. filled with um, raising hell. Just like Stone Cold Sea Boss. Um, yes. Uh, so uh, they've each got a death's head, which it makes a number of attacks equal to the number of models in the target unit to a maximum of Shadow? seven. <laughs> Seven. Why? Because Nurgle. Yeah. Um, so I'm making nine attacks here in total. Um, minus one to hit because of I'm leaf hell. Okay. Okay. So I do hit you uh, four times, but importantly, disease. Stop diseasing me, please. They're all a six to hit. Diseasey, pleasey. I don't like it. Freeze to wound you. It's free wounds, okay. uh, no rend, and damage one. But you will have a free up save because you've charged this turn. You have a free up save. Your biovoltaic barrier. Yes. Slippery customers. Oh, loves it. But I have diseased you, sir. <laughs> well, it's a risk I'm willing to take. So I'm going to hit you back now with my hell saber. So you've yeah. raised some hell. I'm now going to... Um, Yes. Uh, I'm going to do all-out defence on myself because it's a new phase now, technically. I'm going to do all-out attack! No, oh, you're giving yourself plus one to hit, are you? To hit! Yeah, because you can't nice? do all-out defence because your biovoltaic barrier can never be improved. Exactly. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my fangs and lashing tail. Trace amount. Yes, baby. Very good. Uh, so be hitting you on twos, don't you know? My goodness. Okay, that's nice. I'll be wounding you, I tell you, on threes. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Oh, dear. Okay, so that is 
five wounds, please, sir. Randolph. Uh, one. Okay, so back to a five up save. Yep. Uh, I do save two of them, but three go through. So it's 3d3 damage. Shit. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Ooh! Eight. Ouch, okay. One more than Nurgle would prefer. Cause number. Yeah. Oh, a ward save. Slippery call. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh no, oh. Uh, you just killed two of them. Did I? Yeah. Oh no, uh, one's taken two wounds. So one's dead, uh -huh. one's down to one wound effectively. Okay. Fine. Hoon heck and hell sabers. Okay. Hell sabers. Oh. Hitting on twos again. Uh, that's nice. I'll be winning on threes again. He's only damaged one though. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, uh, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, five wounds, please. Minus one again. I will live. That's better. Oh, that's Two wounds nice. go through. Damage one, you say. Damage one. Okay. Five up wards. Ah, oh, he just dies. Oh, no, not the banner man. I want the banner man alive. I want to try and bring one back. So you killed my champion and my musician. Oh. The banner is still alive. Oh. Uh, let me have a look at what they do in, in response, because I have no idea. I do fight you back. I've basically, all my stats are the same. It's just varying different attacks. So I've got eight attacks total. Uh, I've not piled in, you've not piled in because neither of us can pile in because of the rules that are happening in this game. You've been netted and I... Diseased. I'm diseased. <laughs> you would have been minus one to charge, but you rolled a 10 anyway, so it doesn't matter. Eight attacks, hitting on freeze, winning on freeze, no rend, damage one. Okay. But preferably lots of sixes for disease. Stop diseasing me, please. That's two disease points. Why? Because that's my rule. I don't want it. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds, you say? Four wounds and two disease. So I've got three up save because I've charged. Yes. Only Damn it, one damage one. Okay. Three and then wounds left. And then because it's the end of the fight phase, combat phase, you gain another disease point. Oh, good lord. Disease. It's the battle shock phase, which means we've got disease and reviving because no one can actually physically run away. No. So we'll do the disease points first. Okay. So we've got the four disease points on your eels. 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 Four fours. Uh, it's two mortal wounds. Ouch. But then it goes back down to one. Yes. So um, we've then got the ones over there. Um, I know you can bring one back, but you can only do it on one unit, right? Just the one, yeah. So on the unit on this side. These guys. Those guys. One's dead. Ouch. And then on the other unit. One's dead, oh. so who's not going to be dead? It's like picking my favourite child. Um, <laughs> we'll do, <laughs> we'll do uh, the ones over here because they're a bit further away from your units. Sure. Um, so one just goes, ah, I'm dead. Uh, oh, I'm like, alright actually. So one is Zim shit. dead on that unit. One of these are now. very dead. Okay. Yes. For now. Dead. He might come back next turn. Yes. And then Battleshock itself, I can't physically fail or mentally fail or emotionally fail. Because I'm the, because I'm bravery ten. Holding but if I roll together. a one, I bring one back because of my banners. I don't do that, please. We'll do it on the uh, plague bearers in the middle. Yep. No, nope. <laughs> but no one runs away. Not the drones, please, Chef. Ah! Oh! 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 It's like reanimation protocols. <laughs> oh, it's so stressful. <laughs> So that is the end of your turn. It is. Yes. No battle tactics success, unfortunately, because I couldn't quite kill those pesky drones. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have a particularly good choice of battle tactics this turn. But you almost did it, you know. Nearly. Very nearly. But alas, here we are. Uh, but, um, I mean, yeah. very strong flank over there. Yeah. Not so much over here, but you are quite slow. So yeah, I'm you have see. stolen that objective from me as well. So you do get two points on the, uh, on the objectives. Doobly Right. All that's left to do is roll for priority. Oh, good lord. Would you like to roll first? Can I? You may. Can I please? Can you? Oh, no. Okay. All right. Middle of the road. Oh, Ooh, double turn. Would you like to be my first double? No, it's not my first Well, do you want to take the first turn? I mean, yes. Okay. Yes. Double turn, baby! You're doing it, are I you? I've decided to do it, yeah. If I can get more opportunity to do damage, the better sure. against Nurgle, I think. Um, so, with that in mind, talking of dealing damage, my king over there, he is going to be selected for um, my battle tactic. Uh, that one's mine. Mm. He's going to attempt to kill that last drone. I very bravely. Say. That's very cool. After his men have done most of the work. Yeah. Um, so he's going to do that. Um, he's also going to attempt heroic willpower to help him in that quest. He doesn't need it, apparently. I understand. We are also going to do, over here, Riptide once again. Okay. Let's see if it goes off. On a seven. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, the Great Unclean One will attempt to deny you. Great. 
Unclean one. Uh, it does go off. Okay. So that's going to be targeted onto your uh, beasts of Nurgle. Nurgle. So they take D3 mortal wounds. It's the big three, baby. Okay. And what else does it do? Uh, it's minus else, one it? to hit. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Do I ward save them? You do one. You do one wound, but I am importantly minus one to hit. Ward saves are disturbing me today. It's, it's about time that I got some good ward saves <laughs> yeah. in Sigma. Um, just a few other little bits of note just before we go into your movement, because that is your hero phase done now, isn't it? Yes. Um, I'm just going to do heroic leadership um, as well with sure. my great unclean one. Nope, that's fine. So no extra CP for him. And we are in um, the next stage of the cycle of corruption, which is rampant disease. Oh, so rampant. So now uh, your, my disease rolls will go off on a three plus, not a four plus. Well, that will certainly help with your um, grand strategy, won't it? Well, I mean, hopefully everything will be dead. Yes. Uh, we're also in the flood tide for battle round two, so I can run at, or shoot. Um, or charge. Or charge for my army. Right, moving phase begins, and we are going to slither backwards with the Ishleyan guard over here. They have done their work, and they are making way. Make way for the king, baby. Here we come. Got some karate coming your way. Second unit of the Chilean Guard are going to move up this way, up the river. They love being in the water, these guys. Um, I'm going to attempt to stay within the nine inch bubble for the okay. king, so they can get their plus one to hit. Next up, we have the Alapexes. They are going to move up this way. Um, I want to get their net launchers in range of the um, Blight Kings because they are a problem. They must be dealt with and I'm slightly too close. So steady on, chaps. Steady on. Next up, the Namati are on the move. We have run with them because I am able to run and charge in this turn, which is very nice for me. Um, I also want to make a little bit of a, a screen of sorts because those beasts of Nogla are a serious problem, you see. Um, so they're going to move up here. I'm also going to make a bit of a move with the characters. And also this Namati unit is also going to move up six. Shooting face, mm. once again. Mm. The Reavers will fire their Whisper Bows into the Plague Bearers. <laughs> Die! Oh, it's still minus one still to Still minus hit. one, yep. Because so, uh, they are... I mean, that's a pretty good that's throw! So Look at all those hits! It's not bad, it's not bad. So worth pointing out, I didn't redeploy with the uh, lone drone down here because he's not a champion, so he can't issue orders to himself, and he's not within range to receive orders from any of my characters, so... Good grief! Stop it! Four, six, eight, ten, eleven! My goodness. Eleven. Minus one, but you cannot. Well, I'm in terrain. So. You are in six terrain. up saves. Save a couple. And then five up wards. It's not good at all. Um, so, one's dead, because one was already on my wound. Two, three, four are slain. My goodness. Ouch. A Klingon Alapex is next. Hmm. They make this noise. Right. They're going to fire their net launchers into your Blight Kings. I'm doing all that defense because yes. it's... Okay, I'm going to do this one at a time this time. Sure. Just to see what happens. Yeah. Can I hit you? I do hit you twice. Mm. Can I wound you? No. Okay. I'll do the second unit, shall I? Once more onto the breach. Mm. Net launchers. Uh, surely you mean once more onto the beach. Because, see. <laughs> see. I do wound you, and because it's a six, you automatically die. Uh, me personally? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a dire consequences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out. Yeah. Uh, round of one, yes. Yes. Four up save then. No damage. It's free, right? It's trace. Okay. Ward saves. Uh, okay, I shrug one, so one of them takes two damage and is down to two wounds remaining. Okay, king baby. Come on now, time to deliver some kung fu. Karate, karate. Listen here. Uh, oh, oh, damn! Double uh, six? I needed three? Well, that's a plus one as well, because of your... Because your, your, of my your, karate! Your ritual. What, what's the ritual called? <laughs> what? Is it the ritual of karate? Yes! Oh, very good. Yes, it's a very, very uh, deep meditative ritual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, next, we're going to do the, the eels into your plague bearers. Your yeah, Ish Ishlayan yeah. guard. Ishlayan guard, yes. A five. Uh, so that's actually a six and then a seven, because you've got a trumpeteer in your ritual. And seven is my magic number, so therefore you die. 
Oh no. Uh, so move them in a second. <laughs> oh no. And then the, the, the Nomatum are going to charge into your Plague Bearers. Okay. So there's the tree. Do I need to go around the tree? Um, so you can't, um, you can move within the tree. You can't go over the tree. You weren't within three inches of the tree, so you've not got extra disease points. For those of you wondering why I'm not counting on disease points, because there was nothing there. Yes. My goodness. A ten. Welly, welly, Wellington. Eleven because of your ritual. Eleven. Do you want to charge into the Beast of Nurgle as well? Oh, really? <laughs> Fight phase. Mm. Ready for some karate? I'm ready for a Deep Mare Horn to my face. Yes. We're going to get gored by the, uh, the, the Deep Mare Horn. On a two plus, it's D3 mortal wounds. Oh, a, a jolly good gore. Nurgly ward save. Okay, I take one wound. This is becoming very common. Getting, getting two wards yeah. successfully in this game. Very Thank you. Isn't it? <laughs> it's nice um, for me. I never get ward saves. It's very pleasant. Um, so we're going to actually start the combat with the king. That makes sense. Come on now. Uh, we'll start off with his... his uh, is it a falchion? No, a bladed polearm. You don't want to do tracer falchion? Maybe. Mm, no, he's charging. Thematically, he'd go with the... I understand, I understand, I understand, I understand. So I'm hitting you on twos. So I've missed you once. Because he gives himself plus one to hit. As yes, well as he, he is a Kellyan. He is a Kellyan. I'll be wounding you on twos. Mm. Double wound. And this is at rend of three because he's charged. I don't get a save. Six damage. Ward saves. Yeah! He's dead. Oh, he went kasplatted. A it. disgusting shish kebab. <laughs> we will come over to the plague bearers. Okay. Into your thralls. My thralls, yes. Yeah. Um, thralls. I have after parlaying in. Parlaying. Parlay. Piling in. Mm. I have managed to, after piling in, get all 11 attacks in. I'm going to spend a CP on. Um, uh, uh, all that attack. <laughs> Thank you. Defense. All that defense. On yeah. defense. Um, Blade parry. Yes. Nice. Uh, fours and freeze. No disease, and not very many hits. Yes! Sad. Don't want any of that disease, thank you. Sad. Uh, wow, that's that was unlikely. Terrible. Okay, very well. You're, 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 you're. <laughs> the Ishlayan Guard. Mm. That was a really weird thing that just happened. Yeah, it was very bizarre. Yeah. Lots uh, of ones and twos. Yes. Um, so, I'm going to attack with my Hell Sabres. Now, they are plus one to hit because uh, the, the king has bespoked uh, bespoke. Gre be bespoke. Yes. Yes. Moving on. Uh, I have missed you a couple of times, mm. but luckily those twos do count. Yes. We win you on threes. Hell saber. Okay. Two, four, seven. Oh, seven. Means you automatically pass. Okay. That's nice. Minus one. Uh, so six up saves because I am. Uh, I was charged and I was in terrain, so I do get cover. You was sixes. I've saved one. Yes. Damage is one, yes? Yes. Ward saves. Mm, dear. One's dead, two's dead, and a half. Okay. Fine. Fangs and lashing tails. Now, these Next. don't get the plus one. The mounts hit. don't count. Don't. The mounts don't count. Here's a question, though. Does the champ's mount get an extra attack? No, the champion gets an extra attack. Very good. Because it will specifically say with their this weapon. So As I thought. Yeah. Uh, be threes to wound you. Again. Although, personally, I would be all about a champion horse. Champion mount. Uh, six that time. Minus one again, if you six. please. Six. Yes. Sixes. Save one. Damage. D3. Oh dear, that's five D3. <gasps> well, okay. that was about as good as your last roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, so I've got three wounds remaining. Okay. In, in the unit as a whole. Easy peasy. Ward saves. Oh, no, they did. So close. And yet, so they will on. bear their plagues no longer. Split. Landmari blades coming in hot mm. from the thralls. Um, can't do all out attack because I, I all out defended so hard it cursed your dice. Apparently so, yes. Incredible. I, I am all out defending though. That's because good. I, I already have the mystic shield up as well, so this will effectively give me a four up save. It's very nice. I need it. In the way that I've been rolling. Their, their sweeping blows affect models with one wound or three or more. Because uh, they've got two, there's no additional effect. You don't do anything. Which is good for you. No. Goodbye. Um, my minus one doesn't work in combat, it's only against missiles. Well, thank goodness. Thank Wouldn't goodness have made much of a difference, to be honest. No, that's a heck of a throw. Uh, and it'll be threes to wound you. Okay. Okay. Right, so two, four, six, seven, eight, nine wounds at minus one, please. Okay, so five up saves here. Oh, come on now. Oh, no. And then five up wards. A bit better. Yes. Um, so that is two dead. Only two. Only two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And that's that. Mm. Now, interestingly, you because you're within three with your Blight Kings over yeah. there, you would normally be able to attack me. But because you've been netted, I can't pile in. Can't pile in, so they're stuck. Very sad. Just for this turn. So they do they do manage to cut themselves out of the net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post haste, but um, it does mean, for now at least, those eels are safe. Mm. They will not be jellied this day, sir. No. No, that, 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 yes, that's very sad. Yes. Um, okay, well, uh, they're dead, so there's no battle shock to do for them. But yes. We've also got disease to do. We do have disease so, to do. Um, the varying units, I've already counted the disease markers for those that are within three inches, so I'm not going to explain every single time, but suffice it to say, at the end of every movement and every combat phase, anything that is within three inches of anything in my army gets a disease point. Mm. So if I don't mention it, it's because they've not got it. If I'm not rolling for it, assume that I've counted for it. It's like with Tau Markalites for you 40k fans. When did the, oh, the Markalite uh, action happens before the, uh, ta the, the drones move? We always do it because why would we not? It's literally the army rule. Likewise here, just because I don't mention it doesn't mean I'm not doing it. The general and the army rules aren't idiots. I might be, but... So, we'll work our way along. The eels over here. Now remember, it's going off on a free plus this turn. Eels! Eels! Yes. Oh, damn it. A mortal wound on the wounded eels here. Okay. The king! Come on, baby. Have a wound. Damn it. The eels in the middle. He doesn't have a ward save, interestingly. The no, king. He doesn't. No. Wounded on a free... Uh, yes. Yes, they are on a free. Okay. The two on the frawls over here. One wound. One, one is dead. On which which unit? On this unit here. This unit here? Yeah. Okay. And then it goes down to one. Uh, and then the uh, frawls over there next to your characters also takes a wound. Okay. So one from each unit, basically. That's yes. really nice. Um, what I will do, Mr. Schiff, mm. um, I'm going to do my um, lure light on this unit over here. Okay. So, so you revive D3, is it? Yeah, so two, four, six, eight. No, so yeah, so there's there's two, two are dead essentially. And they just come oh, never mind. Lure lighted. <laughs> They've been lured by the light uh. of the Iden Death Deepkin. So that's nice. Very nice. Um, then. That one is dead though. Um, cool. That's that. So I did get my uh, battle tactic for this turn because he did get his kill. He did. It will kill. It will um, kill. And it will and, kill. and and that and that's it. Yes. It's now your turn. Now. Well, you have. I've done my two turns. Yeah. So you've taken that objective and that I've, objective, and you should, in theory, have this objective massively so now. Yeah. Yes. So you do have all of the objectives, apart from that one, I mean, good luck, maybe. I'm not interested in that one. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, okay, my turn two. Let's go, baby. Right, my turn. Just a few little admin things. I forgot to mention because I still had an arcane bolt prepared. Oh. I yeeted it at this unit of eels at the start of the battle shock to do another mortal wound. Eels. Just cause. Um, my battle tactic is glory to the grandfather. Uh, so basically, I need to kill more units this turn than you kill units. And that's this turn, not this battle round. Ouch. So that's nice for me. Um, we're also going to attempt some uh, various things with the Great Unclean One, and then we'll go to spells in a moment. So first of all, we're going to ring my bell. Ring my bell. Oh, it's D3 Contagion Points. Now, I've already counted out the Contagion Points for the territory. Oh, it's the big three. That puts me on 13, would you know, Beard? You need how many to do... Uh, things? 16? Uh, I need, uh, well, I need eight, 18, I could bring in some drones, but I'm, I'm gunning for 30. Free zero. 30? 30. Wow, okay. But it would be funny if I do. Um, <laughs> I don't get anything extra from my trees because there's units within three inches. But I'm also going to do heroic leadership to get a CP, which does happen this Ooh, time. That's nice. What a hero. Yeah. I can be your hero, baby. Now you're going to do a, a heroic action, aren't I'm you? I'm going to do heroic recovery. I see. Don't you know. Okay. Uh, it needs to be under my leadership, yes, which well it is. Done. And then I roll a d3, and I want a three or above, please. Yeah. That's what I get. So, so I'm going to heal my wound and then and, and rid my disease. Disease! I've healed my pox-ridden self, hmm. and now I feel all peppy. Well done, you. Spell time, and we're going to do the Leech Lord's Curse. Oh. Uh, from Festus the Leech Lord. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. Uh, onto your Achillean King. Also, I've done the Locus of Fecundity and everyone's like healed up basically to full that was wounded. <sighs> makes me sad. Beast of Nurgle. I know, right? And my Blight Kings. But you did stop them from piling in. So, the Lich Lord's Curse. It is cast on a seven. My goodness. Ugh. That's Zinch's magic number. So this is minus one save for the rest of the game unless you dispel it. I'm going to attempt to Unbind it. it. Dispel! 
Nope, he's minus one save for the rest of the game. Oh, that's a long time, Chef. It's a long time. It is, yes. <laughs> um, we've also got powers from the Great Unclean One. He's okay. going to do Mystic Shield upon my Beast of Nurgle. Ooh. Mystic. Yes, plus one save to them. And then we're also going to cast Stream of Corruption. Oh. But um, so I can do this in one of two ways. I can do a seven inch range or a 14 inch range. Mm. I'm going to go for the 14 inch range. Oh, big boy. Um, because otherwise I can't actually hit stuff. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. It is casted as warp charge, warp charge, casting value six. So what I do is I, it's 14 inch range. I roll a dice for each model that is within range of it in an enemy unit. So that is eight of them. Yes. But it, because it, I've gone for the longer range, it's only on sixes. If I go for the seven inches, it's on fives. Always a downside, you see. Yeah. But if he get, basically, if he gets into combat, that's a bad time for you. That's, that is a downside. Yes. Yes. For you. For me. <laughs> sixes! <laughs> Damn it. Shame I wasn't really close. Fives ahoy. That's my hero phase done. Go me. I have auto run six inches with the free CP from the great unclean one to go. <laughs> oh, I have to go like that because I can't be within three inches um, of the um, Namati there. That would be horrible to see. Like, Imagine that coming towards you, man. You're not got any legs for a start. <laughs> they're, do they're doing the Scotty Too Hotty Worm, but the whole way towards you. You're just like, could you stop? Please? But it's like when Rikishi does it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to uh, redeploy my Namati. Spend a CP. The CP that you gained is gone for it's a redeploy. Here. How yeah. far can I go? It five. is five. I can at least try for now to protect my characters. I understand. Yeah. So they've moved there, have they? The swines. Very well. Slimex then will go... I presume he makes the same sound, but it's a lot more joyful. Look at his happy face. Festus the Leech Lord will just move over this way to make room for Big Boomba. That's my movement. Right, shooting phase. Uh, I've done the disease points where it's relevant. I'm now going to breathe noxious bile uh, onto your, um, your, your eels. <laughs> yeah, D6, it's two. Uh, threes and twos. Very well, we'll move on to discharge phase. <laughs> the beasts of Nurgle will kick off the charge phase. No, thank you. It's a seven. Oh, appropriate. I, I could re-roll it mm. because I'm wholly within 14 of uh, Slimax. But if I, roll, game. if I roll a double one, then I'm not charging anything. So I'm just going to leave it as a seven. All right. Let me move them in because they do mortal wounds on the charge as well. That's nice for them. So with the pestilent battering ram of the Beast of Nurgle, I have checked this. It says after a model in this unit finishes a charge move, roll a dice for each enemy unit within one inch of that model. So in this instance, with this guy here, he's within an inch of both units. So he somehow affects both of them at the same time. Ooh. So this unit's going to take D3 mortal wounds on a 2+. Plus, and then I roll 3D6 for that unit, and for each 2+, plus it's D3 mortal wounds. Because you do it for each model. Super gross. So the 3... Okay, well there is a 1 there. So it's 2D3 mortal wounds. And it's 5 dead. It's 5 just dead. Just eaten by the maw that's under their belly. Belly maw. Yeah. And then on the unit with the 1... Yes, because it's on a 2+. plus. Free are dead! Well, that seems quite appropriately gross. Horticular Slimux now will attempt to charge. The Doctor himself. Yes! Hello! Hello blah, 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 blah. Nah. That's nice. The Great Unclean One. The greatest. Hmm. Now, this is a weird one, because I've scoured through, like, the rulebook and the FAQ. If I'm missing it, I really apologise. But there's nothing to say... With a, oh, to be fair, a five, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it anyway because I've got to climb up and down. But just for argument's sake, so I, I'm not going to use a CP to re-roll that because I don't want to or need to at this stage. But just for argument's sake, audience at home, humor me. Let's say I rolled like a double six there. There's nothing that I can see in the rules that, say I, that says I can't do that, which seems really odd to me. It seems a bit counterintuitive to like... Looks quite uncomfortable for him. Yeah, well. to like rule. I mean, it, narratively, it makes sense. He's a monster. Like one little rule isn't gonna uh, wall isn't gonna stop him. But not sure on that one. Yeah. Um, it also, the, the wording also suggests that you can just finish a move halfway up a wall. Yeah. So I checked FAQs and things like that. So let me know if there's something I'm missing. If you've got like the reference for it or the FAQ. Don't just say you can. Like every time I ask questions and people are just like, yeah, you can. It's like, what's your evidence? Where's your reasoning? What's the what's the the paragraph on the nomenclature? How does it work? Give me the reference, and then I, I know for future. Send us um, the photos. PO Box Seven, and we'll get it post haste. Seven, seven, seven. So that is the end of my uh, movement phase. Uh, uh, my charge phase done because these guys were. 
they're still in free. So let's do some combat. Yes. Let us begin with the beasts of Nurgle. Let not. Two of them into the four-man unit and one into the larger unit. Very good. We'll begin with the filthy claws. I'm kind of pleased these guys can't see. Yeah. They're because it's not, it's not. That's going to be a pleasant good. sight. No. The filthy claws. Um, I'm also spending a CP for all out attack on them from uh, Slimex. So to offset the minus one that you've done um, from your spell. And then another plus one from him. So hitting on freeze. Very good. Uh, so freeze and freeze with the filthy claws. Filthy claws. Didn't, but that's a... Uh, Tidecaster, what's that smell? Don't worry. Don't kids. worry about it. It'll it'll be be fine. It's fine. Uh, so that is one, two, three, four wounds at minus uh, one damage two. Sixes. They're dead, Jim. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. Uh, God bless. <laughs> into the uh, slightly larger unit. So filthy claws. Filthy claws. Uh, I hit you all oh. the times and two disease points for what it's worth. Ouch. Yeah. It means disease. they got four. Disease. Absolutely riddled. Disease. They riddled their timbers. And uh, that's three wounds at minus one. Right. Damage one. That'll be fine. two even. Live. No. That's six dead. Is that the unit? One, two, three. No, there's two, four. So there's one left. So then I've got my slobbering no. more. D6 attacks. So I needed two. Okay. I hit you twice though. Oh no. I wound you once. No rend here, but damage one. Parry. He's de they're dead. They got eaten. They're so dead. Everyone is dead, Jim. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Piece of nugget looks so good. <laughs> Fish attack. Eel combat. Um, Kung Fu apologies. Ishlay and Guard, I have piled in. Only one of them is going to attack. Because if I get too close, I'll get Great Unclean Wand. I will be able to pile in. Yes. You sure? I'm good. Okay. But thank you. I'm going to spend my last CP on all-out attack because I'm not within nine of the coon. Well, not wholly within, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I will only hit with one, but I am at least hitting you on twos. I understand. I'm going to start off with my fish. Mm. When I say fish, I mean eel. Three hits. Eel. Eel attack. I'm doing all out defense because I'm going to lose the CP at the end of the turn anyway. Two wounds minus one, please. So four up saves. Minus one, rendo. Okay, done it. D3. Oh dear. How many? Just one. Just one. Hup! Okay. And it just, was one. just one. It is just one. Right. And then uh, four attack. Which one is that? Who are you? Oh, you Who's are the that? champ. That's the champ, yeah. The champ. The champ, the champ. Hell Saber! Yes. Hell Saber! Oh, goodness. Uh, it's only two wounds. Damage one, right? Yes. Okay, one's taken two damage. Yes. <laughs> Ten attacks with the Blight Kings that have piled in, just mm. because of weapon ranges and whatnot. No disease. Yes. Fine. Taking my Barocca. <laughs> Freeze to wound you. Uh, that is one, two, four wounds. Uh, no rend because you are unrendable, sir. I am an eel and I will not be vanquished by the likes of you, sir. Um, two damage. I have, t I have taken two damage. So there is uh, one dead because he's already taken two wounds. Good night, sweet. Uh, uh, that's the musician, I lower. guess. Yeah. Hmm. Goodbye. Disease phase. There's no one to do over there. Because they're all dead. <laughs> they all got eaten by beast of Nurgle. And the fella's got nothing to do with his lure light. He's, he's like, just like... He's fishing going, oh dear. Yeah, no bites today. Uh-oh. Uh, so, we'll start with the Morshan guard down here. I only need to do the one. And I do because of my cycle of corruption. So one's dead. Damn it. On the king, who I've counted up because of the tree, uh, he takes one. And then Dude, I healed him, didn't I? Yeah, I know, but he's he's because he's within range of my oh, tree. Oh, leave him alone! He's within three inches, but that it did stop me from getting uh, contagion points. So, you know. so he takes he takes just the one, just the one. And then these guys, because they're within seven inches of my great unclean one with his wither stave, it's another plus one. So these guys are taking it on twos. <sighs> so of course I roll a one. <laughs> uh, so there's two mortal wounds on them. Ouchie! Right. Well, not bad. Mm. I did take that objective back, which is good. But and I'm not all of my men. <laughs> and all of your men. They are now in the bellies of the beasts, Gross. quite literally. Yeah. Um, I did get glory to grandfather. Oh, glory. Really. Oh, glory to him. Um, so that gives me the two points on the battle tactic. Um, but that's that. Well done, you. Pat my back. Oh, lovely. Priority rolly time. Oh, God. Your least favourite phase. I don't like it, man. It stresses it's me very out. very stressful. You go first this time, please. Okay. okay. There is a two plus and you're going first. Yes. 
Well, I presume you want to go first. You don't want to go second? Absolutely, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> you want to go second? <laughs> Right, hero phase, about around three. It's the high tide, which is high an tide. important one for mm. the Deep Kim because I get to fight first. Which is very nice. So it's time to go out! All out. Mm. Going out swinging. Mm. So there's a few things to do. So we're going to start off over there with the king. He is, first of all, going to pop the potion of hateful frenzy. Right. I see. And he goes, oh, that's nice. Mm. It's got a bit of a tang to it. And he goes, mm. ah! might kill me later. Goes, oh! <laughs> we'll deal with it later. Yeah. Um, so what that does, it means for uh, this turn, I get plus one to hit, plus one to wound, plus one attack, plus one to run, plus one to charge. Okay. Unfortunately, in my next command phase, I have to suffer D3 mortal wounds because it, it's very potent juju. Mm. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he's a super beast now. Okay. Nice for him. I'm also going to do finest hour on him. You know why? Because I'm going to fight the great unclean one. I see. I'm going to mess him up. Um, so that's him uh, over here with my tide caster. She is going to do riptide once again into the beast of Nurgle for what it's worth. Sure. Uh, on a ten. I'm going to attempt to deny you. Yes. No. Nope. Okay. They are riptide into. They take one mortal wound yet again. But do they? No. No, they don't. <laughs> Marvellous! But they are minus one to hit. And the last thing to do, over here, uh, we're going to do Brain Barnacles. So once per game, I can pick a, uh, I think it's a hero it or a monster. Has to be a hero, yeah. Um, uh, within 12 inches, and if I roll greater to or equal to the distance between them, mm. there'll be minus one to hit, minus one to win for the rest of the game. Now, I know I'm about 10 inches away, so it's quite a high roll I need, but I'm going to be skedaddling in a minute, because I don't want to deal with any of this. I understand. So, big roll. It doesn't go off. So why not? Barnacles back in the pocket and off we trot. Um, that is everything done in my hero phase. Are you doing anything? Um, I'm, I'm just going to do the, 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 the leadership thing. I'm sure someone will turn around and say, why don't you do fight a star? Biz just said he's going to attack your great unclean one. Because I wouldn't have known that if he hadn't have opened his mouth. And in a real life setting, you're not going to reveal your plan to your opponent. We reveal it to you lot. Yeah. Surprise. Hi up. I don't even get a CP, so it's completely irrelevant. We'll begin the movement phase with the Ishlayan Guard. Uh, these two here are going to um, fall back over this way, and they are then going to tag their partners, who are going to replace them over here, because they want in on the action, because they want to hunt some Blight Kings. Alapexes are next. They are going to fly their way over this way. We want to get nice and close to those Blight Kings. Oh, I should also mention the reason why I'm doing all this is that I've taken um, Assassins of the High Tide. So I need to kill a couple of units whilst I'm in the High Tide to score my battle tactic. Okay. Well, what, well, given that, I'm going to redeploy those Blight Kings. Splendid. I'm going to spend one of my CP. Okay, goodbye. It's gone now. Every time. Marvellous. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll this one on camera because I need to uh, make a, a run attempt with these two characters over here to try and get into the, um, what's it called? Nidus Pathways. Yes, so I can teleport away from these beasts. So we'll start off with the, um, uh, the, the rend, the render, render, damn it, it's not what I wanted. And on her I need a five. Well, they may be beast food. <laughs> the Achelian King. Absolutely off his mind on potion juice <laughs> comes over here and decides to fight a great unclean one. What a legend! Shooting phase will begin once again with the, the re with the with the reavers mm. whisper bows whisper into bows. your blight kings. I will do all out defense. <laughs> Damn you! I'm going to try and finish off that one that's on two wounds. I don't want them in this realm. That's good hit, mortal or not. Uh, be threes to wound. I tell you. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Oh, oh dear. Bum! Bum! This is fine. Three, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Put that Blight King on a plate. Maybe. Uh, four up saves here. Well. Oh. Five up wards. Hey. Okay. He could still be dead. He's alive oh, with a wound. Stop it, Chef! Alapex is next. Mm. Now, I've got some interesting choices here, but I am going to fire this first unit into the Blight Kings. Because one's got a wound left, mm. and I'd like to have him not exist anymore. 
Yes, yeah. that, that makes sense. Now, my Bloodthirsty Predators rule counts whether models have uh, lost wounds or have been slain. So it doesn't matter if he does die yeah. in terms of, and really, terms of that rule. You want him to. One hit. It is a wound. Minus one. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh dice kiss. That is. Does fail. Nice. Three five ups here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, He's dead, dead and a friend is also wounded. And they're entangled, which is also quite good. Oh, okay. The other two are going to fire into the great unclean one. I understand. Because he is a chonky boy. You want to soften him up. Mm. Yeah. He's, now, a, he's a heckin' chonker. Now, unfortunately, um, I do have ablative nurglings. So I'm minus one to hit. Somehow that works at range. Don't ask me why or how, but it does. Imagine a nurgling getting hit by a harpoon net. They go really far. <laughs> I think you once. Okay. Can I wound you? No. Pants alive. Okay. okay. Um, that's my shooting phase done. Oh, it's not time for charging. Here we go. Hail to the king. He's going to charge into the great unclean one. Okay. The greatest unclean one there ever was. Mm. Oh, we saw that one there. Staying off camera, if it's double, anything but a double one, because he gets plus one to charge with his potion of, of super frenzy. frenzy. So he's in. Uh, whilst we're in this vicinity, we'll move on to this unit of Alapexes here. They're going to charge into the Blake Kings. Okay. They do make it. They love it. And the other squad next to them. They, seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. One, a very smelly omen. A, a smelly omen, Nurgle's blessed number, and also probably what you want to get on a slot machine. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so all that's in, that's very exciting, isn't it? Mm. Um, one more charge to do. The um, Ishlaian guard over there are looking for another seven, seven, interestingly enough, into the Blight Kings. Oh, it's an eight. Even better, I guess, yes. Ah. Right, a couple of things to finish up before we get into the combat phase. Uh, I need to do my deep mare horn mm. into your, I mean, great unclean one. Avalanche of flesh. Yes. Yeah, it does. How many mortal wounds? Oh. It's the big three, baby! Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back. You've been horned. Five up horned! Okay, I take two. <clears throat> the damage begins. I'm now going to do Mountain of Loathsome Flesh as a oh. monstrous rampage against you. So yeah. basically, on a two pass, you take four mortal wounds. Oh, lovely. <laughs> It's four mortal wounds, I'm afraid. Splendid. Ugh. Ouch. That hurt. Right! Beginning of the fight phase. <laughs> <laughs> very confusing here. I'm used to running one of these rather than two, so we've had to do some very basic arithmetic. Yeah. You may or may not have had a meltdown off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Are we attacked by health? Don't know. Just a, just a, a small aneurysm. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start off with these Alapex over here. I, I'm going to do the king last because I've got to fight first. This battle round, we'll just save him. We'll save the best. Also, because that's cool. It is cool. You're right. Yeah. Um, so the Alapexes have plus one to hit because we have a champ. Well, you're getting plus one to hit from the one of from them. the king anyway. Yeah, and, uh, on your on your riders. Yes. So and then <laughs> and then I'm doing all out attacks, so my uh, mounts can also okay. do the business with their bikes. Basically, everything is in this unit is hitting on twos. That's all we need to know. Very. I'm good. ready to to attack you now <laughs> with my barbed hooks and blades. Twos. Oh, only missed one. That's nice. Uh, and I'll be wounding on threes. Don't you know? Sorry, I knocked the tray. Oh, okay. Threes. Okay. All right. Uh, three, six, it's seven. An ominous amount. Seven. Yes. Uh, five up saves here. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And then five up wards. There was a four there. That is less good. So one is dead and one is wounded. Okay. And then we have the attacks from the shark eels. Of course. These are hitting on twos. These are hitting on twos, yes. Yeah. I'll be winning you on threes again. Use. Okay. okay. Uh, four wounds at minus two, if you please. The card actually says rend of two, so you get plus two to your save. <laughs> I think it's a typo. Really? Should be, yeah. <laughs> just, just maybe a little typo? Might be. Yeah. So sixes. Yes. Sorry, I had to think about that. They're mental arithmetic. I do pass one. Damage is two, right? Damage is two, correct, yes. Six ward saves. I've already taken four wounds. Mm. They're hungry. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, so I've taken eight wounds in total. Oh! So one was down to two. Mm -hmm. So that's one dead, two dead, and one down to two wounds. Good grief. Ouch. Once again, we strike Alapex unit number two. More barbs and stuff and... Um, Swords and things. Mm. Uh, can I wound you on threes? Not very well. Not very well at all. 
I balked it. Was that a two a second ago? I have no idea. Uh, on a four up, it was a two. Yes. Okay. Um, so, sure. uh, five. Five. Uh, minus one, please. Five ups. Yes, that is five. Counting. Very oh, good. Cheeky. Five up wards. Hup! Oh, only a wound. Oh, my goodness. Just the one. Bites ahoy. Hitting on threes chomp, this time. Chomp, chomp. Oh, bum. That's not good for me. <laughs> uh, threes to wound again. Right. Okay. Six, uh, is it? Six, please. All right, we've been visited by all the gods' lucky numbers today. <laughs> six is... The god of fish and eels. I do save one. Okay. So that is a lot of frogs to do, though. Ah, la, 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 said the shark. Turned into Steve Carell from Bruce Almighty there. <laughs> Re reading from the teleprompter. Yeah. I think... Ooh, that's Ooh. pretty good. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. So, ooh, hang on now. So you did one damage? I did one. So that's one dead. One king is alive with a wound. Marvellous. Down to the Ishlaian guard. Only one of them can get in. Yeah, the other one can't pile in because he'd be moving further away from the um, great and clean one. Exactly. Um, so I've got one, and it's not even the champ to try and take this last wound off you. Um, so the Hell Saber. I've hit you twice. You have. The Hell Saber. I've wounded you once. Minus one. <coughs> one. Five up. Oh. Heal. The fangs and lashing tails. <gasps> three hits. Okay. Oh. Three's the wound. Okay. <coughs> ah! Two wounds minus one. Five ups then, is it? Okay, damage. A D3. So 2D3. Ooh. Five five up shrugs. Oh. It's never been done. Oh. No, it's not been done. Oh. He, they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> oh. Here we go. I'm doing all our defense. I thought you might. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, we'll start off with the mount. So for all intents and purposes, the mount has got a minus one to hit because mm -hmm. of your, your nurglings. I'm covered in nurglings. My king has ended up with a plus one to... No, my, my king is hitting you on twos because he's got the potion and finest hour. Kind of counteracts your minus one, so... Ba ba all, all said and done, the king ha himself has plus one to hit, plus one to wound. The deep mare has minus one to hit, plus one to wound. Yes. Uh, so we right. need to know. Three lashing tails, first of all. Tracer tails. I've hit you twice. Okay, very good. I'll be wounding on... Oh my goodness. Stop it! Two's to wound. It's two wounds. This is at minus nothing. So three up save. Yes. Perfect. Oh, very good. Uh, we then got the fangs and talons. Three more attacks. <gasps> nothing. Oh dear. Oh, pants alive. Well, I can't kill him now. I don't think he can. Ah. You absolutely can. You got six attacks at damage free with the pole arm. Do the falchion first. Tracer falchion, obviously. Tracer falchion. Six attacks. Six falchions! Yeah, I miss you once. So the reason why you've got so many attacks is because you. this is from your... Um, so my... Uh, command trait. My command trait and my potion Hang of... of, of potion good, of friends. Good slaying. Uh, four wounds. This is at minus one. So four up saves. Okay. Ooh. Damage. Damage two. Two? Ooh. Nope. Damage one. Okay. <laughs> Five at wards. Okay, I have 14 wounds remaining. Okay, the dream's alive. The dream is alive. Dream's alive. The bladed pole. Oh. Okay, the dream is still oh, alive. I miss you once. The dream is still alive. Two's to wound you. Two's to wound, no ones, please. Oh, the dream is I gone. I said no ones, you give me three? Why? Oh no. Oh, that's really bad. Minus is three though. It's minus three. So six up saves. No, and okay. then three damage a pop. Uh, okay. Uh, three ones. Uh, I only shrugged the one, okay. so I have taken a lot. I've got nine wounds remaining. Okay. But I am still alive. Oh. It didn't go to plan. Mm. It's really bad. Please don't squish me. Well, I might. You have degraded me, but weirdly, you've only degraded my nurglings, my vomit, and my loathsome flesh, not my actual melee. It's very sad. I'm going to do out defense. I understand. <laughs> uh, you are minus one to hit though, yes? I am because my mount is all slippery. That's the slippery dance. <laughs> um, right, we'll start with the plague flail. Uh, five, five attacks, hitting on fours now. Uh, freeze, minus one, and damage free. Right, well, I hit you twice. Okay, that's it's fine. a disease point there for what it's worth. I wound you once. One wound. One so You'll have wound. a free up save here because of all the pluses and minuses. Up. He's you're, fine. You're fine. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. The bell. Five attacks again. Ring a ding ding. I hit you only twice because of the minus one. Right, right, right. Disease point though. I'll mark that up in a sec. 
One wound? You could just finish me off with your disease. I could! Ah! Oh no, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Didn't even get the chance to use my nerds. <laughs> Festa! Uncle Festus. Uncle Festus. It's almost like they planned that. Creepy Uncle Festus. Yeah. Free attacks with my plague staff. Ooh. No Ooh. disease. Uh, it is forced to hit. It is freeze to wound. It is a wound. No rend. No rend, you say. Yeah. Hup! Loving life. Loves it. Okay, very good. Right. That's the end of my turn. Hmm. It's a bit sad the king's dead. But I was just saying, though, against most uh, heroes, he'd be in a pretty good spot. I think. Yeah, you I could really boost him up. Probably do quite well. Yeah, uh, but um, sadly, turns out great fighting a great unclean one is actually a, a poor life choice. Yeah. Uh, these eels are just within three inches of my uh, great unclean one, mm. so that does put them up a disease point. So I'll just do the disease rolls now. Okay. Um, for the eels over on that objective. Yes. Uh, for the two that are in combat with me, combat with me, these will be on a free because they're within seven inches because of my wither stave. Oh, wither me timbers. So one more to win there. Okay. And then on the sharks, again, on a free. One more to win. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, there's no battle shock to do because my Black Kings are dead. Yes. <laughs> uh, nice to kill them. I, I didn't get my battle tactic annoyingly. I mean, it was a bit of a risk going for the Great Unclean One, but he had the ability to kill him. Um, I mean, you would have had to have failed all of your um, all my wards, yeah, <laughs> saves if I'd not rolled three ones, yeah. But it was worth a shot, and uh, it was fun. So there we go. Um, uh, yes, that's the end of my turn. Mm. It's now over to you, sir. Okay. My turn free, indeed. Mm. So. Um, for the purposes of my contagion points, I'm on 20 now because I gained uh, free for being wholly within my territory. Uh, because of my uh, cycle of corruption is now corrupted regrowth, I gain an extra contagion point for each feculent normal that's in my army. So I effectively get two for each of those. Grim ting. Which is very nice. And then I also just need to roll for his bell. Ring a ding ding. It is an extra one. So I'm on 21. Edging ever closer. I need another D. D-dice, D yes. D -dice. Um, I'm also just going to do uh, heroic leadership to see if I get CP. I do! That's nice. That's nice. Do you want to try that with one of your characters? Sure. Why not? Redeploy away from me? Yes, oh. one of them can do a free CP. That's nice for you. Yeah. I forgot to mention my battle tactic, which is uh, Gifts of Nurgle. Oh. So I need to put a disease point on... Uh, all of my friendly units have to put at least one disease point on at least one enemy unit. Um, by the end of the turn. Okay. So that's doable enough. Um, we've also got to roll for my uh, local fecundity to heal D3 on my boy. So he heals two. <laughs> Sorry, demoralized. I know. I know. I've played against them and it's it's it can be quite upsetting. Um, and then we're going to cast some spells with my greater clean one. We're just going to do a mystic shield upon myself and then we're also going to do an arcane bolt. Easy peasy. Mystic shield does go off. Uh, it's fine. Okay. I nearly fell over. Arcane Bolt! That goes off. Okay. I'm trying to spell that one. Sure. Up. Not quite. No. Right, so he's done his things. Uh, we'll... I just need to have a quick look at Festus. Okay. First of all, with Festus, he's going to do delightful brews and splendid restoratives. Ooh. So on a two plus, he goes, Would your shark like to drink some of my fine wares? And the shark goes, because it's a shark, it goes... <laughs> On a two plus, you take D3 mortal wounds. Don't ask me how he's force. He's not force feeding a shark. He looks at the shark and goes, "This is a terrible idea. Why am I going to stick my hand in a shark's mouth? I need my hands to yeah. live." Um, so I'm also then going to actually cast a spell with him, which is Plague Squall again. Okay. Doesn't go off because it's casting value six. Okay, that's the end of that chapter. Let's go on to the chapter two, which is movement. Ran with the beast of Nurgle because they're allowed to do so. Rolled a four, which just puts me over to here. And whilst we're here. Slimax is just going to do a slight reversal. The Plague Bearers are basically three inches away anyway. They're just out, so we're just doing the ever so slightest shuffle in order to um, help make them get into the charge. A little bit of shooting, which is just the noxious bile from the... A little bit of vom. A little bit of vomit. Mm. The vomit comet. Tactical tremor. A little bit of vom, we can make it through the night. Nice. Uh, I'm not quite within three inches of the shark, so I can't vomit on them, so I am just going to vomit on the uh, ish laying guard. Yes. D6, noxious biles. Oh dear. Why? 
Why? I don't know why. Uh, freeze and freeze. Okay, there you go. Uh, that is a disease point, though. <laughs> oh, good. Sure. Um, and it is a wound. It would be render free, but you don't care. I'm a slippery fish. No, it's fine. You're fine. Okay, but you are slightly diseased, and also diseased from the disease and disease from because the end of the movement phase disease. Disease. Charge time. Charge time. <coughs> the plague bearers. Yes. Yes. On a seven, no less. Um, whilst we're here, we'll also do uh, Slimux. On a nine, sure. And the beast of Nurgle. Nurgle. A six. Okay. Let me move them in, and then we'll be back to do uh, the rampages and the 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 the, the battering ram. Uh. Right. Uh, end of the charge phase. So we will just do the mortal wounds from the uh, pestilent battering rams that are the beast of Nurgle. Oh yes. Uh, one is going. Uh, the two of them, sorry, are going into the unit over here. And then one of them, because he's in range of both, is doing it on this unit that has... Yes. I see. But just trust me. Very good. The one? Yes. So two mortal wounds on this unit, which is already slightly wounded. Right. And then on the other two... Yes, they both go through. And... It's five mortal wounds. Ow! Of course. Right, okay. I'll give you that. Oh, thank you. Thank five. You so much. One of them's taken five. Marvelous. Um, and then we're going to do a mountain of loathsome flesh on this. Um, what's their name? My Ishlayan guard. Ishlayan guard. Hmm. On a two plus, you take three mortal wounds because I am slightly degraded. I've oh, only got three left on one of them. One squish. Marvelous. Okay. <laughs> I will be striking first because hmm. we're in the high tide still, hmm. which is good for me. Hmm. <laughs> um, so. All out attack is being done on this unit of Alapexes here because I need to try and kill at least one of these. I understand. Um, so uh, I will do just that. I'm, I'm doing all out defense. I'm going to use Big Daddy Jabba's free CP that he gained to, 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 to tell them to be extra beefy. Be good. Daddy Jabs. K up! Uh, missed you once. Um, helped a little bit there. Did help a little bit. I'll be winning you on threes. You will. Oh, okay. not bad. That is four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. Minus one, yes. Uh, yes! So five ups. Right, four go through. Damage one. Damage one. Five up. What? So two damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the sharks! Missed you once. I need all of these to wound you, really. Well, they don't. Uh, f only five wounds. Okay. Minus one. Six. Uh, minus two on the sharks. Minus two. Six is. One saves. Damage Six. two. So eight two. yes. Eight okay. yes. Eight yes. Eight yes. I've taken two so far. You have taken two so far. You've just killed one. Yay! Second unit coming in hot. Mm. Um, so one of them can strike into the beast again. It's worth a try. The other non-champ one's going to try and kill Creepy Uncle Festus. Okay. Poor Uncle Into Festus. the beast first. Oh. Is this the champ? This is the champ. Yes. Yeah, so I have it all the so time. yeah, he does get plus one. Weirdly plus one to hit, but not plus one to wound. Uh, plus one attack. Ah! Two wounds. Minus one. Five ups. Five up. Oh, oh. Roll it. Oh, so one damage. The dream is alive. The sharks! The dream is dead. No! Can I wound you? Woo! One wound. I don't save it. Okay. <laughs> you swine. You swine. We'll move on to the other one. <laughs> Creepy it, Uncle, it, Festus. Uncle Festus. Let's see if you've got any sixes left. <sighs> I hit you once. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I hit you five times. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, that one's cocked! Uh, one wound! One wound. Oh, Six they're up. all giving up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, the shark. The shark's like, oh, I'll do it. Okay, uh, I okay. mean, you might have to. Four hits. Four wounds. Right. Okay, so eight shrugs to make because it's minus two. I don't get a save here. Oh, no. Uh, five up wards. He's got six wounds. He's dead. I did at least eat Ow. Uncle Festus. But he will creep everyone out no longer at Christmas. About to die, scum. <laughs> Ishlayan Gart! 
the single <laughs> the single slaying guard is gonna bring down the great unclean one all by himself. I mean, he might. Ready? Hell sabers. Well, I've hit you, you once. You... <laughs> Triple one, baby. It is a six to woo. Mark for death, chef. Mark for death. I'm fine. <laughs> Never mind. The, the eel. Oh, double hit. Oh, mark for death. Uh, I do. I do take a wound. Damage. D three. Okay. Big three. Yes, yes it is. Fish laying death. <laughs> I'll attack you back with Big Daddy Jabba then. Yeah, okay, okay. The Plague Flail. Finally a, a, a worthy opponent. Uh, well that's two disease, <laughs> it's, it's two disease points just in case. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, uh, four up saves though because of your Voltaic Barrier. My slippery bits. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, well, that's nine damage, I'm afraid, Bid. I think he's dead. <laughs> uh, the Plague Bearers then? Sure. No disease you'll be pleased to know. The downfill starts here. There's two wounds, no rend. No rend? I don't believe not, so. Not a bit. No rend. Well, one goes through. Damage one. Okay. All right. Um, whilst we're here, we'll go over to Slimux. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll start with uh, his lopping shears. Three attacks, hitting on freeze. His on lop three. ship. Yes. He does hit you twice and a disease point. Okay. And he wounds you once. Minus one, D3 damage. Minus one, you say? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so D3 damage is two. He's just got two wounds left. Okay. And then Mulch will attack with his slime encrusted jaws for d3 attack. Oh, lovely. Just the one. Hits on freeze. Does hit for a disease point. Uh, freeze to wound. It is a wound at minus two. Minus two? Well, guess what? I'm dead. It's two. Yeah, because it's two damage. You, you, you chomped me. ate one. With your dirty teeth. <laughs> um, and I put some disease on there. Oh, thank you. And then I'll need to get some dice for the beast of Nurgle. Great. <laughs> The Beast of Nurgle, then. The Filthy Claws. Oh, Filthy Claws. That's two disease points for what it's worth, but only two hits. Oh. Because minus one, but plus one, because of the Riptide. Maybe damage. I clip their nails with my... Nice. With my uh, one at minus one. One at minus one. One at Hup. minus one. Okay. There's two damage. Right. And then my Slobbering Maws, 2d6 attacks. So it's five. Uh, falls to hit. Two more disease. Stop diseasing me, please. Disease all the way down. Um, freeze to win. Two wounds, no rent. No rent. No rent. Which unit is this on? Uh, this one. Damn it! Okay, so one, one shark over there is dead as well. Yes. And also, disease! Oh, good, thank you. Uh, your wound for thank some you. disease. Thank you. <laughs> Battle shock, disease phase. Um, yeah, I've, I've counted up the, the disease for the end of the combat phase. Just a quick one over here. On a four plus, one of those, one of those eels dies. He's dead. Oh. He just got diseased. Succumbed. He just went, yeah. melted. Uh, and then both of these have five of them on, and they're both within seven inches of the wither stave. So these are going off on freeze. Uh, on this unit here, that's two mortal wounds. Right. And then on the other unit, which is fighting um, slime ups, Free mortal wound. Oh. Okay. Um, right, that's the end of the turn. I didn't get my battle tactic because um, I didn't get a chance to attack with uh, Festus, which means I couldn't inflict disease points. Yes. Um, so it fails. Oh, you so, have pummeled me quite substantially. I, I've done a, quite a bit of damage. Pummeled, diseased. Yeah. All sorts of bugs. Yeah. Um, one of those is dead. There's no battle shock to do for them. So it's just the priority roll off. <laughs> Would you like to roll? Sure. It's a one. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll go first then. Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs>
I currently have 29 contagion points. But you need 30, chef. That's a shame, one off. Oh, if I ring the bell on a two plus. That is tough luck. You I might, actually gained D3. You rang my, you rang so technically at the end of the movement phase, this would happen. Oof! Just because that's stupidly cool. I mean, <laughs> you do have the law light to deal with, unfortunately. I mean, so, so yeah. I'll accept a draw. Okay. But also I can see. <laughs> Okay. Well done! Well done, sir. Oh, that's so stupid. Look at that! That's so stupid! It's very cool. Yeah, but it just shows it is worth saving up. Yeah, it's very funny. Because it's not every day you can say, oh, I just summon a green one. Yeah, just summon a green one. Yeah. 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 yeah, I know technically that would have happened at the end of the movement phase, but yeah. Um, between spells and disease points and the fact that I'm moving and the healing that this guy can do... Please, but, they're already dead. I think the sharks are probably not long for this world. Yeah. Um, it's time to go. <laughs> Back we'll to the high seas. Way. No one will notice. <laughs> we'll be fine. We'll find a new a new home for ourselves. <laughs> this place stinks. <laughs> Off <laughs> we go. <laughs> I like to think that they're listening to "Sailing" by Christopher Cross. Yeah. <laughs> sail away, sail away, sail away. I <laughs> know. Oh, 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 oh. I uh, yeah. I, I mean. Back yeah. to the ether sea. Yeah. Yeah. They they see what's happening. Just come. No. Absolutely not. Well, thank you for the game. Well, thank you for the game. That was very fun. That was very silly. Um, yeah, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, those beasts of Nurgle are, are rotters. Oh, the beasts of Nurgle, are so absolute rotters. Good. Yeah. They're Eight so wounds good. a pop. They're just so tough, and they do so much damage as well. I mean, my 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 Alapexes are also eight wounds, but comparatively speaking, because they're also more expensive than your beasts of Nurgle, a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yes, you've got no ranged attacks, but um, good grief. Yeah. They're very hard to kill. Yeah, you, you are you are paying for uh, the the 14-inch fly move and the ranged attacks. Yeah. Um, and don't get me wrong, that ranged attack's actually really good. It really shut down my combat a lot damage in this three game. Is nice as well. It's damage free, but it's, it's the no piling. Yeah. It's just that sheer fact you just go, dunk, okay. Uh, my Blight King sit there and go, I can't do anything. Yeah. I'm within I mean I'm in range of combat, but can't do anything this yeah. turn. Um so it really helps out with the the sort of the playstyle of the Iden F, which is kind of pick and choose your battles and then kind of go in really, really hard on the yeah. one flank. I should have picked and chosen my battle with the Great Unclean one slightly better. I mean, to be fair... I could have killed him, you maybe. You a very good chance. You could have killed him, maybe. Rolled like you did. I did roll like I did do. It's, which is a shame. That's how it goes. Sometimes. But lots of fun, nonetheless. Yes. We hope you enjoyed the game. We hope you enjoyed the free view debut of the Ideneth Deepkin and our beautiful Nurgle army. Very pretty, uh, both uh, of to, them. They're, they're, they're very nice. Um, we do also have another game with the Ideneth available now on demand where they face off against the... Seraphon, yes. I think, which is available now. So you can check that out on demand with a membership, which you can join us for. You get loads more Sigmar games, loads more 40k games, and talk shows and all sorts of good stuff. Yeah. Loads and loads. Lots of stuff for your enjoyment and perusal as the winter months draw in. Yes. Snuggle up with us. Mm. Mm. A bit nice, wouldn't it? But maybe not Lucky with them. maybe not with the beast of Nurgle. No, they are horrid. Um, so thank you for being here today. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe and like, and send us some comments, especially about the armies that I've been using. If anyone's any, any uh, super good Iden F Deepkin players out there, let me know uh, the, the good stuff. Let me know the tricks. Um, show me the ways with your non-seeing eyes, mm. and I will learn to sail the ether sea like a super sailor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and on that note, we'll bid you. What do sailors say? <laughs> fare, thee well, fare thee well. Cast a sh all ashore that's going ashore. Yes. Um, yo ho, a bottle of rum for me. I don't know. I'm not. Pirate. Bring me the horizon. That's what Captain Jack Sparrow said in that film. Yeah, it's true. Good film. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
to go. <laughs> Sigma.